those who have the most ability get the uh, most beautiful mates, and uh, that causes a linking of intelligence and community in their offspring. Aha! I was looking for this! Okay, and so, um, and so you would think that beauty and intelligence would be very closely linked. Um, however, having either of them is enough to enable you to survive in many uh, situations. And so, if you don't need them both, you get the type of atrophy that occurs um, just by genetic drift and whatnot if there are not evolutionary pressures on a particular trait. For example, uh, eyesight used to be quite critical, um, let's say, 100,000 years ago. Now, it is not so critical and there are glasses, and uh, so people who have terrible eyesight do not die off and do succeed in mating, and consequently their defective eye genes are passed on to further generations, and the quality of human eyes is deteriorating rapidly. Uh, no difference to evolution to make your lens the correct shape or the incorrect shape, and so if you have bad vision and need to wear glasses, it was only a matter of moving the lens a tiny little bit to make your eyes perfect, and evolution would love to have done that for you, but it wasn't killing your... person can be short, but be an immigrant, and in fact be a tall person from where they came from. And cultures that are at different stages of advancement um, due to differing amounts of trial. Uh, some places are constantly battling it out, and uh, survival of the fittest is very active because many die, and uh, why they die is relevant to their construction, and so their construction is honed. Other people evolve in areas where that is not the case. Some people are beautiful and intelligent. Some people are ugly and dumb. And the explanation for that is that that gradation occurred where they evolved. And they were in the middle of it somewhere. And now they appear to be on the edge because of a uh, more macro shift in their environment. Uh, yes. <coughs> and so that muddles up the whole thing even further and makes intelligence and beauty difficult to connect. And yet it's quite important to be able to judge people by their appearance is uh, something we all do more than we might admit. And uh, I think, in fact, a person's appearance is indicative of who they are completely if you could make all the connections. It's like you could tell exactly how corn's going to taste just by looking at it. If you were um, the intelligent, it, the clues are all there, just like you can tell how much oil's under the ground by bouncing sonar around inside the earth. And so you could look at a person and know a hell of a lot about the game.